gyro armor. Is it necessary? Does it work? And should we be using it? We're going to be answering all them questions and we're going to be testing this thing out thoroughly. Now here in front of me is a standard gyroscope block. And the interesting fact about this is just how many steel plates it actually has on board. So if we actually look here, it has initially 100 at the top and it has 500 at the bottom. We're not going to really take into consideration the blocks in the middle as they really don't offer too much protection. But if we head out through this door, we head up to the roof and we actually compare it here to the heavy armor block. So you can see as a base, it's only got 135 to the 500 of the gyroscope block. Now the gyroscope does come with some disadvantages. The main one is that it can't be attached to all sides. So we'll just grab this light armor block like so. So we cannot attach gyroscope any other direction than back on. And that means if the gyroscope is connected up and this block behind it is shot out, it will blast off that wall and go for, well, who knows what will happen to it. It will fly around your ship and probably cause more damage. But initially, it does receive more. So. We've actually self got ourselves a little turret set up here, our remote control the turret, and you can see just how much or quickly we can blast away the heavy armor block. So it still does take some time, and it is annoying, you do have to reload, but if we just quickly pop out while it reloads, fly back over to the block, and you can see that it's wiped out all of the initial armored steel plates, and it's cutting through the blocks now very slowly, but it's doing its job. Now compared to the gyroscope block, let's do exactly the same on that. Let's control that. We'll fire some rounds at this, and we'll do it until it becomes at a disabled state. So you can see it's still taking the exact same amount of time, and now it's disabled. So the gyroscopic capabilities of this block now no longer work, but we've still got to cut through the large steel tubes, the steel plates, and we've got 500 of them steel plates to go. I could sit here pretty much all day shooting at this guy, and it lasts a hell, hell of a long time, longer than I would want to wait here. So we'll just fire a few more rounds in it, get rid of them construction blocks and the steel tubes. And you can see it's slowly chewing away now at the steel plates, but nothing compared to how quickly the heavy armor block would get torn apart. Now what's interesting about this is that the heavy armor block of course does have more advantages because it can be stuck everywhere. But what happens if we combine this in some interesting layers of armor? So for this next part of testing, we've got ourselves two targets. The red target is simply heavy armor stacked up we've got two blocks thick the right side gear is a number of gyroscopes with heavy armor behind it so we're actually inside this turret here we'll just pop to a first person view i'm gonna fire a volley of rockets so that's one two three and four now you can see the rockets have impacted and of course they're going to be doing damage to the block behind as well but if we actually have a look here at the front i'll get out of my camera seat and wheel myself over to the target we're actually going to see that the damage to these has been absorbed considerably. Now, if this was a Gatling gun firing, there'd be no damage to the rear of the target. So the biggest threat with these gyroscopic armor is not the actual gyroscope failing, it's the armor behind it, because if that block fails, you're gonna end up with something like this. So you see that block's cut out, and sometimes it's fine, sometimes it sits like that. Other times, if it is, for instance, a ship, let's just put the info, let's convert it to a ship, You'll get a situation like this where the gyroscopes will start popping off and going crazy so let's see if we can just pop a few more of them off and see what happens so you can see that's going to be flaking away on the inside of your ship and you're going to have some serious problems but the actual gatling gun fire would be absorbed straight into them and it would take considerably longer than the heavy armor let's just blast a little bit at the standard block so we understand what the difference is so let's fire a quick volley reloading the two shots and you can see that we've got a large impact area. Nothing nothing too scary, but you can see how it can cut through them blocks incredibly quickly. Now, in my imagination, the best thing that you can really do here is combine the two. So for instance, you'd have a layer of heavy armor and a layer of gyroscopes. As long as that layer of armor behind the gyroscopes is strong enough, this armor is very, very effective against small arms. Missiles and other things that do area effect damage, you do risk them popping the gyroscopes off. So that's my overall thoughts on gyroscopic armor, but let's actually test it in some combat designs. So you would have seen this ship the other day. Now this particular ship is Comrods. Now if I just flip to another spectator view, you can see that this particular turret battery is engaging it, and of course it's targeting the turrets first. But let's just have a, a look at what's going on behind the scenes. So we actually have the gyroscopic armor here at the front of the ship to protect it. So if we just grab the ship for the instance, we then rotate it around. 
So we grab it, we rotate it, like so. So it's actually taking the brunt of the fire towards the front. We can actually have a first hand look at a combat situation of what's going on here. Now without the gyroscopes in the way, there's going to be various damage going towards these turrets. But the question is, as you can see, now that turret is actually starting to focus on the area where the gyroscopic armor is, can it penetrate into it? And of course it's got to shoot through all that thick heavy armor at the front and it is doing so. A combination of Gatling fire is working its way through the hull of the ship. It's slow, it's tedious, but as soon as it reaches them gyroscopic level, it's going to be taking even longer to get through. So you can just see how effective that thick block of heavy armor is there. So let's just cut through, let's give it a little bit of a hand. Here to see if we can get through a little bit faster. There we go. A little bit faster there. Gyroscopes are holding up really well. They're stopping the blast from getting between the layers and absorbing a lot of the impact. So you can see, even though the warheads and things are going off, so we could do to go a little bit further. We could even take this ship to the next level and add a second platform. Let's uh, just do that. Try not to blow up our own stuff. So that is three platforms now all targeting around about the same area of that ship. Some of course are coming from the side, so let's just replace that back in. So even though this is a damaged ship, you can start to see that the gyroscopes are coming off. Now the gyroscopes will be loose on the inside of Conrad's ship. And of course they're attracting fire, but as they're inside flopping about, you could be doing more damage than they're actually worth. So let's just place that back in and just see how the more turret variety does some more damage. They're all targeting it from the front. They're cutting the way quite easily through the heavy armor, and then finding themselves getting stuck at the gyroscopes. It's still a massive issue though with the gyroscope armor that if you do have explosive warheads, it will damage the block behind it, and then cause the gyroscope to fall off. So the question is, from my findings, do I think gyroscopic armor is better than standard heavy armor blocks? And the answer is yes and no. Where it does work and it will absorb some gunfire. In a lot of the cases, them gyroscopes coming free due to explosive damage can cause a lot of problems, especially like, for instance, I'll delete this down, we'll just see how many gyroscopes are floating around. So that's a total of maybe three, four gyroscopes that are floating around in your design that could bump into other bits, and especially with lag and problems with the space engineers itself, it could rip your ship apart where a standard block would be destroyed after it received so much damage. So let me know in the comment section what you think of gyroscopic armor. If you think it's something you want to use or something you really wouldn't be too sure about. Anyway, thanks for watching and I will see you next time.